If you guys are looking for a new game to pass the time before GTA 6 gets here, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Alright guys, so it looks like we finally have some good news on Grand Theft Auto 6 regarding its release date and its development. In case you're unaware, over the last week we've been following an article that's come out from Kotaku that essentially said GTA 6 will not be ready by early 2025. In fact, it might not make it into late 2025 and could come out into 2026. Well then, Kotaku kind of said, uh-oh, pump the brakes a little bit. We are not 100% sure if that's the case, and this, again, happened after Take-Two Interactive stock price took a massive dip. So essentially, you had the community going, okay, is it coming out in 2025? Is it coming out in 2026? What the heck is going on here? Well, Jason Schreer, who writes for Bloomberg and has broken exclusive GTA 6 information in the past, like when Rockstar was going to release the actual trailer of the game, he put out a brand new article on Bloomberg called Grand Theft Auto 6 Delay Report Spurs Overblown Concern. In reality, video games are always behind schedule and risk getting delayed at any time. Citing that Take-Two's fortunes are tied closely to the success of Grand Theft Auto 6 by Rockstar Games. Going on to say this, landing the next Grand Theft Auto. Earlier this week, shares of the video game publisher Take-Two Interactive Software Inc. plummeted 5.2% following a report that Grand Theft Auto 6 is behind schedule and could be delayed to 2026. The takeaway here is that not for the first time when it comes to video games, the stock market often makes no sense. In reality, video games are always behind schedule and risk getting delayed at any time, especially when they're as ambitious and under as much pressure as the next Grand Theft Auto. And there is so much time between now and the end of 2025 that even if the production was somehow going perfectly, it would be impossible for anyone to state definitively that the game will be ready in 21 months. So that last line is incredibly terrifying that yes, Yes, it could be 21 months before Grand Theft Auto 6 gets here, but Jason Trier makes a good point that even if everything was going perfectly, who's to say that there won't be a snag or a snafu eight months from now that causes things to nosedive and spiral? We certainly hope that's not going to be the case, but there is always the possibility. And he did reference, again, the parent company of Rockstar Games, Take-Two Interactive, their stock price plummeting 5.2% following that report. So those reports are often fairly dangerous and have impacts of millions of dollars, but let's continue. Let's start from the beginning. Grand Theft Auto 6, an open world crime game set in a satirical version of Miami, is the most anticipated video game on the planet. Its predecessor has sold more than 195 million units, making it second only to Minecraft on the list of best-selling games of all time. And Minecraft costs much less and was released on phones. Take Two's fortunes are tied closely to the game's success, and shares jumped last fall when the first trailer was published with the vague promise of a release in 2025. Since then, morale at Rockstar, the developer of Grand Theft Auto, has taken a hit thanks to a new policy that will require employees to work from the office five days a week, starting on April 15th. Previously, staff had followed the hybrid schedule that had become common among many office jobs in the wake of the pandemic. The change in policy came after a string of security breaches, including a massive 2022 dump of early footage from Grand Theft Auto 6 and a leak of the trailer, just hours before it was scheduled to go live. In an email to staff last month reviewed by Bloomberg, Rockstar executive Jennifer Colby wrote that the move was made for project security and team productivity. Putting an emphasis on the former, she wrote that Grand Theft Auto 6's developers would no longer be able to log in into the company's network from outside the office. So that is the same policy that we talked about and covered a few weeks ago, how now Rockstar is going to be moving employees back to their offices in all of their locations around the world and will no longer allow them to work from home, which again has become sort of a commonplace thing since the pandemic occurred, or at least the ability to be flexible and work in sort of a hybrid environment some days from home, some days at the office. Going on to say, although this access has been invaluable for remote work, it is currently the single largest data security exposure we have. This lack of remote access has been particularly controversial for employees who might now have to take vacation days if, say, they are feeling slightly under the weather and do not want to risk infecting co-workers. Then, last Friday, the video game website Kotaku reported that Rockstar's leadership had also enacted the policy because development was, quote, falling behind, and they were, quote, nervous and worried about the game missing the 2025 window and slipping into 2026. Kotaku added that the next Grand Theft Auto was targeting an early 25 release, 
but might be delayed to the fall or even the following year. On Monday, shares fell, and on Tuesday, Kotaku corrected its story, adding that while early 2025 was at one point possible, it's no longer the target for Grand Theft Auto 6's launch, and that the game is actually aiming to be out in the fall of 2025. And as of midday Thursday in New York, take Two stock had not fully bounced back, perhaps reflecting investors' skittishness that the sequel to a game that came out 11 years ago may take another two years to hit the market. Or perhaps investors are overreacting to nothing of significance. Of course, there's a possibility that Grand Theft Auto 6 will slip out of 2025. Rockstar's previous game, Red Dead Redemption 2, was originally announced for release in 2017 and was delayed twice before landing in October 2018. This new Grand Theft Auto is already arriving later than anyone at Rockstar could have anticipated a decade ago when they first started conceiving it. Going on to say game development is a messy, non-linear process beset by the biggest challenges of both technology and art. A game must function as expected and at the same time must be beautiful, interesting, and fun. Thousands of people are working on Grand Theft Auto 6, many in their own silos where they are writing code for weather physics or recording actor performances or hunting for bugs on the streets of fake Miami. Their jobs are all intertwined and dependent on one another and a single bottleneck, such as a level layout taking longer than anticipated or script pages arriving late, can have cascading effects across every discipline snowballing over time. Ironically, the new remote work policy may slow down the schedule. In the email to staff last month, Kobe wrote that we also continue to see the tangible benefits of in-person collaboration across teams, and we need to extend this degree of productivity over the entire standard work week. But there are rumblings across Rockstar that the unpopular move may lead to attrition and complicated logistical hurdles as staff try to coordinate with colleagues in other time zones without the benefit of virtual access. Losing key staff due to this policy could, of course, lead to delays. But for now, there's no indication that anything significant has changed. Even the original report is soft and full of caveats, which didn't stop it from having a huge impact. Last summer, I asked someone at Rockstar how things were going, and they responded with one word, chaos. This week, I asked a few other people at the company what they made of the rumor mill and was mostly met with shrugs. Of course, development on the next Grand Theft Auto is falling behind. It always is. So that is the article right there. I will leave a link to it in the description if you guys are interested. So let's break down the article here because honestly, there's a lot to unpack. Essentially, what I've gathered from this is that the Kotaku article is pretty soft. Like they weren't telling us anything that we didn't already know or that we at least should already know. And that the development of GTA 6 is going to take a long time and it's a messy process. But as things currently stand, thousands of people are working on the game writing code for weather, recording voice acting performances, trying to hunt down bugs so that when the game does come out, it's as polished and as perfect as possible. And at the very end, he says that there is nothing significant that suggests anything has changed. So it still looks like 2025 is on the menu. And even though things might be chaos at Rockstar Games, they kind of responded with like, eh, whatever to the rumors that were just announced that it was going to be delayed. It kind of sounds like ho-hum, another GTA 6 rumor. We'll just keep doing what we're doing here over at Rockstar Games. So honestly, I still believe the game will come out in 2025, but I know this is going to be a very discussion-heavy video, so let me know what you think in those comments down below. When do you believe Grand Theft Auto 6 will release? Early 2025, late 2025, will it slip into 2026? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.